Congratulations, fellow travelers. We have made it to 2021, and 2020 is over. The worst travel year ever, because I know a lot of us wanted to see this beautiful globe this year, but the only globe we saw was the one we used to teach our kids geography throughout the school year while we've been home. And the thing is, is 2021 is gonna be a new year, a new year of travel. And what I wanna do is give you some things you need to look out for in terms of traveling in 2021. Some things to look forward to or to be prepared for, because I've been following the news, I've been watching the trades and stuff like that, and I think it's important for all of us to have an idea of some things that could be happening. Now, not everything here might happen, okay? I just want you to be better prepared if you do decide to see the globe or do some more domestic travel this year, just to give you a heads up, because first thing you need to know is travel will be coming back. People are going to be traveling again. You see the numbers. They're starting to come back in terms of travel, especially domestic travel. International travel, not quite there yet. But the thing is, you got to realize is travel will be coming back. Now, the thing is, it's not going to be like it was in 2019. You are still going to have a lot of the 2020 kind of things you're going to have to be dealing with. Social distancing, limited capacity, making reservations for all kinds of stuff, checking requirements of what you can and can't do or if you can enter. These things will continue on. OK, you got to be ready for that. But just know that traveling will be coming back. And I think one of the things you're going to see is though international travel will start to open up later in the year. It's not going to open up right away. Not every place is going to say, come on, every single traveler, there's going to be some restrictions. So expect a lot more domestic travel again in 2021. And that means if you're going to be traveling domestically or basically anywhere, reservations are going to be key. You need to start booking the place you're going to stay, but also the restaurants you want to eat at. Also, maybe the national parks or you might want to start registering for you know, museums you want to go see because there's going to be limited spots available. So you got to be ready for that. Okay, so be prepared. That means lots more planning than usual. So yes, you are going to need to watch your YouTube travel videos to get ready. But also when you decide where you want to go, make sure you're calling, make sure you're checking their websites to see what the real availability is. So you have that and it will change during the year. Okay. Another thing we need to talk about is vaccinations and testing. Look, you're going to have to probably get a COVID test before you travel to a lot of places. They're going to have proof that you are, have a negative test. And the thing is, is you're going to have to make sure you see which kind of test do they require. Because I have one test at work that work is happy with, but that doesn't work for when I want to travel. So you're going to have to see what tests are important and when you're supposed to take it. Because you might, some might say 48 hours, some say 72 hours. You're going to have to know this and get tested and be negative. And and I think when travel starts to open up more for kind of like international travel, US, Europe, these kind of things, I think you're going to start seeing kind of a, I like to call it the test and release plan, whereas basically you're going to have to test before you get on your plane in the US and you'll test again when you land in Europe or someplace like that. And then maybe you'll have to quarantine for a few days and then test again to make sure you're still okay. But just be ready for test, 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 okay? Because that's one thing I'm gonna, I think you're gonna see a lot of this year. In terms of vaccinations, if you do get the vaccine, you're probably gonna have to have proof that you have the vaccine. You can't just say, oh, I've got the vaccine. No, you're, you're still gonna have to have some kind of proof. So make sure you're getting the official, whatever it is required, proof that you have your vaccine, okay? If you get that. Now, regardless if you test negative or you have the vaccine or whatever, one thing you're definitely gonna be seeing no matter what are masks. You're gonna have to have masks when you travel in 2021, no matter what. Even if we get these things under control, masks are still gonna be a thing. Oh, but I already had the vaccine, I tested negative. Mass, 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 mass. Just be ready to mask up all the time when you travel because it's a thing we all can do to kind of help out with the situation, but it's gonna be required. So be prepared for that. Now, I do have some bad news when it comes to travel in 2021, because I know it's good news we get to go out, but I, th I think one of the bad things you have to realize is not all of your favorite tourist destinations are gonna be the same. Your favorite restaurants, your favorite little museums, they might not be around anymore. A lot of restaurants, a lot of museums, a lot of especially like municipal museums have gone out of business because they haven't been able to get through the, the pandemic, okay? So when you're looking at destinations, your book from a few years ago might not be very helpful for some of these smaller museums. You're gonna have to do the research and the restaurants you wanna go to, they might not be there. So make sure you're checking out beforehand because you don't wanna show up and be like, oh, they went out of business because a lot have okay and that's why it's important if, if you feel comfortable to travel in 2021 go and travel because you really will make a difference in the economy of that town of that family that runs the business those people that work there and those museums you will make a really big difference and i think when you're looking at things you're going to take with you when you are traveling in 2021 patience is going to be the key patience and understanding okay because one 
there's a lot of people that haven't been working and there's a lot of places of a cutback on staff. So whether it is waiting for your turn to actually go into a store, go into a restaurant or go to see a museum, have patience with the people getting upset and saying, Oh, I wanted to come see this forever. And you canceled it last year. Like dude, everything got canceled in 2021. Have your patience, have that with you when you go travel. Cause you're going to need it because there's been so many cutbacks, whether it's in public transportation or, or sites that it will affect your trip in a way. And so you really need to pack a little bit extra patience when you're traveling in 2021. Now, a lot of people ask me, Mark, when can we travel again? And I'm gonna tell you, it, it really depends. It depends where you're coming from, where you're going, what the restrictions are, what you've been able to do. You gotta be ready. You gotta be flexible in 2021. And honestly, I think you'll see a big difference between travel in the first half of the year and the second half of the year, because countries are gonna be like, look, we had one year with no tourist season. I don't know if we can make it two years without a tourist season. So that's why I think you're gonna see more of those test and release programs. <laughs> yeah, it sounds funny saying that, but the test and release programs kind of stuff, I think you're gonna see more of that for countries that are really big into tourism. Cause like, look, we need people to come here. If they can test negative, we can do that. It's okay. But I, I think that's one thing you need to realize is there will be a difference the first half of the year versus the second half of the year. Now, it could change. I mean, all this could change. I mean, there could be more strains and aliens could attack. Who knows? But, you know, it is one of those things you got to realize that it's going to be another kind of frustrating travel year, but there's going to be opportunities because now that we've had a year of, of figuring things out, I mean, we were lucky enough that we got to travel around the U.S. a lot this year. You know, we didn't go to international. We got, we got to El Salvador, but we didn't get to anywhere else. We got a lot of places in the U.S. I think what you're going to be doing is looking at a lot more domestic stuff and also just be really flexible uh, with your timing and with when you're going to go and where you're going to go because yes 2021 travel will be back but it still will be very different and there will still be a lot of the limitations that you had before so really what it comes down to is get back to doing a lot of research watch your videos get everything together before you go so you know make those phone calls check those emails check the websites to make sure things are open and you can go see it but i do wish you a great year of 2021 of travel hopefully better than 2020. i know for us we've got some fun stuff coming up we're, we're going to go to vegas we've got hawaii we're going to italy so we got some fun stuff coming up this year to get back on the road but uh i think there'll be a lot more domestic stuff as well especially around where we are in the midwest so i wish you all the best have a great 2021 congratulations we made it to 2021 and here's to a new year and hopefully get to see much more of this beautiful world. So I'll say bye and good luck this year traveling.